Yo, yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the video blog of the Backyard Dude. On today's uh, video, we're gonna be uh, trying to straighten out some more of that pillar where the fender goes and how the fender mounts up there. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna uh, sand this down to bare metal so that the studs uh, tack weld on here really well. And so when we jerk or pull, they'll stay attached. So let's, let's get into it. Yeah. And of course, this is our handy dandy knife sharpener that we've made into a, a sander. See if we get some studs on there. Just trying to think of what this looks like. Let's see, should we read the instructions? <laughs> First time using this thing. It says, do not burn your finger. All right, not a whole lot in there. Well, at least they provide pictures. Now I just need to interpret what the pictures mean. That's it, wow. All right, well, let's give it a try. <laughs> it's probably pretty important where you place this and how you get that dent out. First got got one successfully on there. <laughs> that wasn't very good. This would be a good setup, in my opinion. This is a pretty good idea. Uh, the flaw in this whole setup is this right here, because really this is where you want the best of the tool to work, is the connection between here and here, so that when you're pulling, it's actually has some meat behind it so that it actually pulls the fender out. So, but this is the weakest part of the whole kit, which is the most important. <laughs> Getting better. Maybe you need to go right in there. The ones I go a little bit longer on uh, that actually secure, stay secure for a long time, create a little hole <laughs> after they pop off. Obviously, that's not good. See what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I don't think you want to eat these. Looks like we need to pop out right in here, huh? I just need to fix really one one thing on this and it'd be quite quite the nice tool. <laughs> I 
Okay. Am I missing something? It does not like that area, does it? Boy, it's sensitive. to let something go, but you just <laughs> struggle, have the internal struggle that just irritates me. <laughs> Considering the circumstances, I think it looks pretty good. It actually creates a, a pretty good tack. If you can get the surface um, and the little pointy stud, I guess, uh, to flush on the metal pretty good. and. Um, there's a lot of pressure right here because it's molded. It's not like it's a fender, right, where the metal's got a lot of flexibility. This is a pretty stout piece of metal. And we were actually to pull out quite a bit of this. The downfall is that when you do create some pretty good connections, it actually creates holes uh, when you pop off the uh, stud rivet. And so uh, once we uh, did that and realized that, uh, I decided to create a little um, support bracket that we'll put in here. So yeah, let's do it. theory, we should be able to gap along here, if we cut it just, just short of the top, we should be able to tack it together at the top. So if you look at this and where I ground it down, you can see that it starts to blend in a little bit. Right there. See that? What we did is um, we took a piece of metal and we kind of shaped it into this uh, area right here so that we can create a support. And as you can see when we drop it in there, uh, so kind of created the uh, hole right here so that it blends well. So basically we'll tack it here and we'll tack it up there and there. And then um, 
this will tackle on here, and then we'll create a little tackle on here. And so, uh, as you can see, uh, when this is all, we'll do a little bit of Bondo, and then that'll fade out to this area, and then once you paint it, it'll be hard to see. So that's gonna be a wrap for the video. Stay tuned to see how we blended the Bondo, the welding, and the paint. And uh, if you haven't seen how we Bondo, watch our previous video. If you haven't seen how Michael welds, watch that previous video, and we'll see you on the next one, yeah. Oh yeah, like and subscribe.